continue our discussion, we will do learning task number one. Refer to the given data. It is written in our board. Write possible problems based on the given data. Choose at least three available data that will support your answer from the choices in column B. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. So please do allow me to read the content of our task. For number one, these are the available data. Number one, there are 200 families that evacuated in the area. Second, there are 10 children being assisted by medical experts. Third, there are 500 boxes of relief goods donated in a barangay. Number four, children below 21 years old and senior citizens are not allowed to go out. Number five, malls and other businesses limited in their business operations. Number six, schools are closed and studying is done at home. Number seven, everybody is advised to wear face masks and PPEs and bring quarantine pass. Number eight, the roads are blocked by floods and some fallen trees such that transportation of goods are limited. Number nine, a pandemic was declared by the World Health Organization due to COVID-19. And the last one, number 10, the government gave donations and funds to the serving families. Column B, these are possible problems. Number one, positive cases for COVID-19 infection increases. Second, there are no donations or relief goods received by two families is one of the isolated barangays in Region 4A. Number three, people are arrested by policemen and authorities. I think that the possible problem is I identified the said problem based on the following data. So, all you have to do is to choose from column A to column B. So, please write your answer on the space provided. And 